Welcome to Sports Talk. I'm Ted Emmerich. It is our season finale, and we wrap up with the boys' golf season in McKinney ISD. Boyd, coming off a top three finish at the state tournament a year ago, was denied a return trip. But as Coach Jerry Crumpton will tell you, he has a group of juniors who vow not to be denied next year. McKinney came oh so close to a berth at the regional tournament. Coach Chris Rednauer says goodbye to a few seniors that left their mark this year. Next year, Boyd and McKinney will be in the same district in Class 5A, while North heads out on its own in 4A. And Bulldogs coach Gary Harden believes his team can win a district title after a rebuilding season. Also, McKinney girls golf coach Jeff Jacobson stops by to look back on a year of growth for the Lionettes. That and the Dennis Baker State Farm Scholar Athlete of the Week, all coming up on Sports Talk. Boyd Broncos turned in another fine season under coach Jerry Crumpton who joins us now and Jerry your team runs away with the district title yet again another top five finish at the regional tournament the only difference this year was you didn't qualify for the state tournament uh, now that you can look back on it how do you evaluate this season well I think you go back and look and at what took place on an everyday basis and in golf it's it's a real funny game you know you're gonna have a bad day but you can't have a bad day when you're in the playoffs. And uh, we didn't play as well as we we're capable of playing. We all know that. And uh, so we'll set this next year based upon what we've got to do to better that so we're ready at that last time. It's, it's not about the best team when you get to the playoffs. It's about who plays best those two days. And a year ago, you tied for second at the state tournament. This Correct. year, fifth at the regional, unable to move out of region two. You had several returning players from Correct. that state tournament team a year ago, three of your top five, in fact, coming back. What was the difference between, if there is one difference, between that team and this one? Well, I, I, I don't know if there's a lot of difference. It just still boils down to how did you play those two days? You know, even in our district tournament, we had a, we played very average at uh, El Dorado, but El Dorado is a tough course to score on. But then we, you know, we, we had a great round at the ranch, and uh, that went well. So, you know, it was there. We just, had, on those two days, we just, uh, it's not that we played bad. Uh, we played okay, but we didn't play near to our potential. And, uh, you know, the two kids that came in at the uh, four and five slot did a great job for us all year. They, they are getting better and better. So we're, we're encouraged by where they will be this next year. And of course, with Branson and Vince, those are two quality players that are top ranked in the nation. So uh, it's going to be an interesting year. Yeah, Jerry, like you say, bad golf can happen at any time, and you don't want that to happen in the playoffs. It's unfair to yeah. boil a season down to two days, and especially in a region that churned out the eventual state champion mm -hmm. in the Woodlands and the eventual state runner-up in Austin-Westlake. Take us back to Waco. What were those two days like? What separated your team? from the top four in that region? Uh, you mean back to Waco? Okay. Uh, you know, really it's, 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 it's real hard to put a finger on other than just, you know, our scores were not as good as theirs. The 596, which was what the Woodland shot, their second team, you know, they beat their first team, uh, normally that wouldn't get out. Uh, normally you're going to be 580s somewhere to get out. So. It wasn't that they played great, it's just that there weren't a lot of great numbers that day, except for Austin Westlake. They played extremely well, but then they get beat by the Woodlands in the, in the state tournament. So, I mean, it's a shuffle. I mean, if you play all of us at the same time eight times a year, you're probably going to have all of us winning some of the tournaments. And, uh, and then it boils down to when you get there, or you're at your best. Did you get the right breaks, or whatever the case may be. I know the year before the state tournament, uh, the key thing for us being success successful there, out of the five young men that played, uh, 36 holes each, we only had two three putts during the whole tournament. So we were really doing a good job on our short game, and, and to go 13 under through 10 holes is amazing. Uh, but that was the difference with that group. If you're not putting that well, you, d you don't score that well, and that's just one of those things that everybody was on at the right time. 
Jerry, your team left no doubt about its place in district. In 10-5A, right. your team wins by 60 strokes, and the second place team was your number two varsity number two squad. Team, yep. And of course, nine of the top 10 at district were wearing Boyd Bronco blue and red. That's Did correct. you expect to be that dominant this year in 10-5A? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our, our district wasn't uh, very strong. But, I mean, they're, they're okay, they play well, but they're way behind where, where we are normally. So we expected to go one, two, and, and we did. Kids uh, played well, uh, did a good job, and got two teams out, plus we got a medalist out. So we actually took 11 players to the regional tournament, which is a great experience for all those kids. Yeah, and, and certainly a boost for your program oh, as you try yeah. to develop depth. Uh, you know you have depth in your top five, and once again you were led by the junior Branson Davis. Last year as a sophomore, fifth overall at the state tournament. Mm -hmm. This year he shoots a final round 67 to win the district title. What impresses you the most about Branson? Well, Branson is he's just a great ball striker, and he's, he's strong in all assets of the game. He, he hits fairways, he hits greens, he's a good putter. And, uh, I mean, if you'd watched him in the, at the ranch, I mean, he was throwing darts all day. He actually had it seven under at one time before we got stopped for play, and we had to come back a week later and finish the four holes. And he lost a couple of shots there, but he, he's an outstanding young player. Meanwhile, another junior, uh, Vincent Whaley, third at district. He tied for 16th at the regional tournament. I remember Vincent enjoyed tremendous success last year as a sophomore, yeah. like, just like Branson, a top 10 finish at state for Vincent. But this year, he was your most improved player. Yes. How did he improve? Well, I think what happened to Vince, and it happened about the midtime last year, he began to grow. Now, when you get a big growth spurt in golf, a lot of things change with your swing and your club selections and distance and all the other things that go with it. And it took him a little while to adjust. And towards the end of that last year, he did. And this year, he's gotten stronger along with the growth. And he's playing great golf. He's, like I said, he's one of the top players in the nation. He's playing at the Thunderbird this week, uh, this week so we'll see how he goes there. Uh, but I suspect he'll play pretty well. Senior Carson Stepler certainly made his mark on your program. He was second at the district yes. tournament this year, tied for 18th at the regional. Your lone senior in your top five. What are you going to miss about Carson? Well, Carson, you're going to miss his leadership. Uh, I mean, he is an outstanding young man. He's a great scholar. Uh, he's going to the University of Texas to major in engineering. He turned down uh, a golf scholarship to go play at the Colorado Mines. Uh, simple, he, he really feels that being an engineer and playing golf may be too much. But uh, if you had to copy what you thought was the best you could put out there, Carson Stepler would be that in all areas. He just does everything you ask him to do. He's a great leader, great player, and I'm going to really miss him. Trevor Harbor, your newcomer of the year on this team, mm -hmm. a fourth place finish at the district tournament. What allowed Trevor to burst on the scene here in his junior season? Well, the thing with Trevor, Trevor uh, he doesn't miss a fairway. He's very accurate off the tee. Uh, may miss a few grains, but his short game is outstanding, and uh, that's his game. If he keeps it in play and uh, hitting greens, if he hits 14 greens, I told him we're 12 to 14 greens, he's going to shoot 72 to 74 every time. If he goes out and hits seven greens, then it's going to be mid 70s. So, with Trevor, as he grows and gets a little stronger, and uh, he's going to be uh, something to deal with next year, he's going to be a good player. Jerry, there's a common thread here. Junior, junior, junior. Four of your top five right. players are coming back. Davis, Whaley, Harbor, as well as Dylan Dobbs. Mm -hmm. How does that group capitalize on what they did this year and take a step forward? Well, I think they, <coughs> pardon me, I think they see where uh, everything kind of came to fulfillment at the end of the year. And they go back, and we hope we all go back and look at, well, what can we do to be better? What are we going to do this summer? Uh, a lot of this is about summer preparation and playing in uh, uh, privatized junior tournaments throughout the state. Uh, they need to be doing that all year round because the people we compete against are doing that all year round. So, I mean, if you're going to keep up with the Joneses, then you've got to keep up with the Joneses, and that's kind of where we're at, and that's what their thinking is. So it'll be interesting to see how they come through the summer and where they are when we start the year. And now, Jerry, you'll have to keep up with a new set of the differences, <coughs> a new district, Allen, the three Plano schools, right. as well as McKinney High. Does that change anything for you? Uh, no, not really. Uh, it's a lot more competitive district, which I think will be good for us. Uh, we've been in that district before. Last time we were in it, we uh, won the district and uh, advanced at that point in time. And uh, we look forward to it. Uh, they're great coach. They do a great job there. They've got uh, 
very good programs, good kids. So it makes it competitive, and that makes us, when we show up, we better be ready. Jerry, we certainly appreciate the time. Congratulations on the season. Well, thank you very much. Jerry Crumpton, head coach of the Boyd Broncos. Uh, they look to take the next step, and they hope that starts with a return trip to Austin next year.